With me here now is the Secretary General of the MDC Alliance, Honorable Charlton Wende, who is amongst the four that were recalled from the Parliament by Advocate Mudienda. Honorable, how did you feel and why do you think you were amongst the four that were recalled? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, first and foremost, it's important for people to understand uh, how illegal uh, the action of Mudenda is. Because Mudenda is not supposed to act on the instruction of MDCT, because that is not my party. I'm not a member of the MDCT. I am a member of the MDC Alliance. This is the party that uh, sponsored me to Parliament. This is the party that funded my campaign. To campaign for a constituency, you need a lot of resources. And those resources came from the MDC Alliance, a party that is led by advocate Nelson Chamis. And it's the only party that can recall me. Even people in my constituents were, were shocked. They are still shocked. And right now, as I'm speaking to you, they are busy signing petitions. They want to go and uh, confront in Denda because they saw the ballot paper. They had a choice between the MDCT that was led by Tokozane Kupe. They know Tokozane Kupe very well. She used to be with us and there was MDC Alliance that was led, that is currently led by Advocate Nelson Chamisa, and they made a choice. They chose Advocate Chamisa and elected me as their member of parliament. So I can't be recalled by a party that didn't sponsor me. Mm -hmm. Okay, I understand, um, Honorable. Uh, maybe you could just tell me why, why do you choose to disengage? Why not just uh, remove yourselves from the parliament? Why are you waiting to disengage? What if you're expelled before you get time to um, disengage as MPs? As I have explained, there is no one who can legally expel a member of MDC Alliance other than the MDC Alliance itself. The decision of the National Standing Committee of the MDC was to say that uh, as, the, as the leadership we are sorry. instructing the sorry, parliament. Sorry. That question didn't come out right. Mm -hmm. mm. It didn't come out right. Question. Why is the MDC Alliance? Honorable, maybe you would like to elaborate on why the MDC Alliance is just not completely recalling its members. Why are you waiting since it seems as if um, the ZANU PF is now um, attacking one by one the members of the MDC Alliance? The uh, MDC Alliance is a party that is governed by the constitution. It has got organs that make decisions. So the standing committee obviously does not have powers to ask the MPs to completely withdraw from the parliament. What the standing committee did was to ask them to suspend participation in parliament pending consultations with the organs of the party. Among the consultations, we want also to hear what the organs of the party feels and direct us to do. We also would want the constituencies themselves where the MPs uh, came from, for them to pronounce themselves on what course of action uh, they, 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 they want us to take. That is the reason why we are now rolling out consultation. We have just finished consulting the MPs as a caucus. Yesterday, we were consulting the M uh, councillors in Aral. As I'm speaking to you, we have deployed national executive members that are going to our uh, triple C's, the districts, to go and explain to the people and also to find out what they feel about the course of action that we, we must take. So MDC is not a party that we just wake up and uh, decide our own. We, we, we are taking the issue back to the people until the last man in the constituency. He must have a say whether they want their MP to come out or to continue working under Toka Zona Kupe and Zano PF. So that decision is not for us as the, the leaders. So we are consulting widely so that at the end of the day, Everybody who has a stake, everyone who has voted for our MPs has a chance to say what they want to see our MPs doing. But at the same time, Honorable MP, by disengaging us, uh, Honorable MP, maybe let me also ask you, um, in today's meeting, I understand there was a meeting today, the consultative meeting of the MPs. What was the general uh, view of most of the MPs? Was there resistance? Um, was it a unanimous decision? What really happened? What transpired today? Obviously, there was no resistance. You can, you can see with the turnout. The MPs came uh, clearly aware that they are coming to the MDC Alliance that is led by Advocate uh, Nelson Jamisa, uh, the party that they belong to. They came to Harvest House. And the, everyone who was there, except a few people that wanted clarification, 
on the way forward. But the majority of them, they know that Parliament is an arena of struggle. It is the same uh, as the street is an arena for, for struggle. We are in Parliament to pursue the dream of a free Zimbabwe. They know that. And as, 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 as soon as ZANU-PF hijacks, like what they are attempting to do, hijacking the people's movement and the party itself, and handing it over to, to, to Kupe, then they know certainly that there's no business for them to do in, the, in, in, in Parliament. And the general feeling is that if the complete takeover of MDC alliance by ZANU-PF is completed, the MPs, they know that the issue must then be referred back to the people. That's why the resolution that came out today is that the MPs themselves, accompanied by the members of the national executive, are now going to their respective constituencies to go and explain to the people what is happening so that we can find out from the people. Because it's not the MPs themselves that have the right to make a decision on whether they should remain in parliament or whether they should do, uh, resign. That decision must come from the people. So that's how the MDC Alliance is all about. It's about the people, the people, and no one else. Mm -hmm. All right, but at the same time, the same people that you're going to be talking to, are they not the same people then that you represent in parliament? Who then will represent them if you disengage as the members of parliament of the MDC? We, we, are, we don't want to preempt. You know, if we had the powers to make that decision on behalf of the people, who would have simply asked the MPs to disengage. But what we are saying is that the people themselves, the people in Kuwazan, the people in Kambuzuma, must pronounce themselves. Do they want their MPs to continue working under a Zanupi of Saro Getko, the Kupe, or they want the people to come back so that they can give them a fresh mandate, or they don't want us to go to parliament again so that we can continue with other forms that we, 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 we have at our disposal? the forms that can bring change. Because what people want at the end of the day is that they want a change in government. They want a government that creates jobs. They want a government that can give them food, you know, for them to eat. People are suffering. You know, so parliament is just one, but uh, of a many platforms that we have to cause a change of government that will benefit the generality of, uh, of Zimbabwe. Okay. All right, honorable. Um, can I walk you on there? Uh, just to clear. Uh, Honorable MP, um, I also need to understand, are there any MPs maybe within your MDC alliance party that have shown allegiance to maybe the MDC T, uh, the MDC Kupi? Of course, we have uh, Senator Komichi, we have uh, Senator Muzuri, we have uh, Senator uh, uh, Monzora himself. They have clearly shown that they want to be with the uh, uh, Tokosani Kupi and the Zanu Pier. And uh, judging from the people that attended today, out of about 110 or so MPs that we had, we had over 86 MPs that came to attend. And the, uh, those who didn't come, uh, who have genuine reasons, we have got MPs that are nursing injuries. Uh, Honorable Mateo uh, Caston uh, had an accident, he's recovering at home. We have uh, uh, Honorable Chubaya, we had an accident yesterday. These are people that we have uh, accounted. Two other MPs that are also sick uh, who who we know already that they are sick and they've communicated to the leadership. Then we have about three MPs that are locked out of the country. The other one is in South Africa. Our spokesperson is in South Africa. He went to South Africa before the lockdown. And uh, I know uh, um, uh, MP Banda, for instance, he was out of the country on private business. They are locked out of the country. So as far as we are concerned, the majority of the MPs are with us. But in any situation where people are selling out, I, I will, maybe uh, one or two more we will follow uh, those who have already indicated that they are not with us. It's not something that is going to surprise us. As long as the majority of the MP are holding true to the mandate that they received from their uh, constituencies and they are respecting the wish of the people by us continuing associating with the MD silence, we, we, are, we are quite happy with what is happening in our caucus. The majority of them support us, support Advocate Nelson Chamisa, and are still members of the MDC Alliance. But maybe as we conclude, Taking you back, you said uh, Senator Mungonzore is part of the people that you have clearly identified that they are now part of the Kupeti. He has said that MDC Alliance is not a party. Maybe let's have your comment on that. If you go to the Electoral Act, it says that a political party must submit a list of its members that will uh, vie for seats that are allocated through the postal representation and Senate. 
it clearly says a political party. If you go in the same act, it defines what a political party is. So the political party called the MDC Alliance submitted the names under its own name, you know, in conformity with the electoral act. So that debate of whether the MDC is not a party or not is just a dog's breakfast. As far as I'm concerned, I'm the Secretary General of the MDC Alliance, and we have a constitution that identifies us as a party, and we have a following. You know, so Monzora and crew, they can continue and mislead the people. But as far as we are concerned, we are a political party that is participating. If, even if you look at the Political Finance Act, it says that a party that gets 5%, more than 5% of the total vote in an, in an election is entitled to receive money from government, a political party. And the definition of political party is defined there under the Political Finance Act. MDC Alliance qualified and government gave us money last year because we qualify as a political party because we participated and got more than 5%. This year, they also gazetted, by the way, if once a gaz a, 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 something is gazetted, it becomes law. That MDC Alliance part must get 7.8 million. So that debate of whether MDC Alliance is a party or not party, I don't think it's a debate that is worth our time to discuss because it's as clear as a god is uh, behind that the MDC is a political party. But he then um, elaborates on the pact um, that was signed by the late uh, Dr. Morgan Changira. Maybe you could shed more light? I think it's important for the people of Zimbabwe to understand uh, one thing. When we started negotiating, when the late uh, uh, President Changira was there, we started with a number of political parties, including Maimudu. I'm sure you remember that. Most people didn't agree with what we were saying, and they pulled out. By the time that the president, uh, Changrai, passed on, some parties also pulled out. And the parties that remained, then it reached an, a, a decision that we needed a new political party. And the, we had a new agreement that was drawn up. And in terms of that agreement, that is how those parties that remained that were willing to dissolve themselves and create a new party called the MDC Alliance. That is how they approached advocate Nelson Chamisa to become a candidate. It's the parties themselves that went to him to say, you are the Zimbabwean that represents the best chance for us, our best foot forward. They approached him, he accepted. That is the reason why, in terms of that agreement, he, he came in as a presidential candidate. And everyone who was there agreed that we needed to have a new agreement that governs that. That is the reason why, for instance, Jabunu, Honorable Jabunu, became a candidate for the MDC alliance. You know that he was coming from ZANU-PF, and ZANU-PF was never part of any agreement with that. The same applies to Mr. Mashamo. He was coming from ZANU-PF. He was not part of the original parties that he, uh, constituted the agreement that those parties had uh, uh, drafted with the, uh, the late president Morgan Changrai. So you can see that it's clear that the agreement that Monzora and group are relying on is definitely not the same agreement that is there. That resulted in advocate Jamisa becoming candidate. That resulted in me becoming a member of parliament for Kwaza. That resulted in a, 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 a Professor Oshman Nguye dissolving his part to become a member of the MDC Alliance. Because in terms of the agreement that Monzora is relying on, each party was supposed to maintain its own identity. After the election, we no longer have MDC Green as led by Professor Oshman Nguye. We no longer have PDP led by uh, Mr. Bitti. They all dissolved in terms of the new agreement. So it's the new agreement that was constituted just before the elections that the people are supposed to be interrogating. Not all these agreements that are there. Before the agreement that Monzora is relying on, there were other agreements that were there, memorandum of association, that were created between the, the MDCT and Maimujuru and other political parties that did not end up with us. So I'm sure I've helped to clarify that.
-hmm. You know, so it, it, as far as we are concerned, we have our own agreement. If anyone wants to see it, they can come to our office. We'll give them. It's a public document. We have a constitution. If anyone wants to see our MDC Alliance constitution, they are free to contact us, to come to our office. But our members are clear on this matter. They even have party membership cards that are clearly written MDC Alliance. So I don't know what people are talking about. This issue is, is, is as clear as daylight. Thank you so much, Honorable. Thank you. That was Honorable we ended uh, clarifying on a whole lot of issues that maybe as Zimbabwe do you want to know what exactly is going on within um, the party MDC Alliance. Remember all these exclusive um, interviews are only found at TechMec TV on Facebook, on YouTube and on Twitter. Thank you so much Zimbabwe. My name is Metallica. Join us again for another exclusive interview.